fans, welcome back to Fuzzy TV, the home of soccer fuzz, transfer news, highlights, as you already seen if you're my fan and have subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for all the views and for all the fans and I love all the comments on my videos. Thank you again. Let's start with the first transfer news of the day is that Napoli are going after Benfica's uh, duo. So they're going after Cardozo and uh, uh, Ezekiel Guerre. Okay, uh, Ezekiel Guerre has a 20 million buyout clause, so Napoli would have to reach that, and Cardozo would be an add-on to the bid. What do you guys think? Is Napoli doing a good thing after going this guy, uh, these two guys from Benfica? You know, Benfica has been creating a lot of great talent lately, and these guys would make a lot of difference for Napoli to create a stronger midfield and a stronger attacking work. Okay, let's go to the next news. Is West Brom are going after Sinclair, the Manchester City's flop. You know, he played for Chelsea, then went to Swansea, where he did amazing. And then he went to Manchester City, where he pretty much didn't play, just like Guidetti. But there's another thing where West Brom has officially signed Vidra on the loan. This guy's an amazing player. As I can see, he scored 22 goals and 7 assists in 48 games for Hartfordshire best based club that reached the championship playoffs last year you know what this guy's an amazing player and I think he's gonna you know we're gonna see a lot of underdogs do amazing in Premier League and I'm excited for that finally the day has reached okay so Milan are ready to bid for uh, Martin Indu so he's a Feyenoord defender he's only 21 great talent Milanese defenders and as I've noticed Milan has pres you know they uh, created a lot of defensive talent and they sold a lot of them, so it's sad. Do you guys remember Stom? I missed that guy from way back then. I'll show you a picture of him. Anyways, Milan, hope you signed a good player. And I think that this is actually going to be a good player for Milan. Adding on better defense. Let's go to Spartak Moscow, where they officially signed Lucas Barrios from China for 7 million euros. This guy is an amazing striker. He's still got talent. 28 year old. I think he will help Spartak Moscow do a lot in the uh, uh, Russian Premier League. Anyways, let's go to Real Madrid that are re they're really linked to Milan's uh, hotshot defender. Sorry if I mess up his name. His name is De Shiglio. He's an amazing defender. And I don't get why Milan would sell him. But then again, if uh, Fabio Contral is going to Tottenham, Real Madrid needs another defender. And this would be a great replacement for him. Let's go to Tottenham real fast, where Tottenham has officially said they're interested in Christian Eriksen and Toby Alderweireld. Alderweireld, my bad. But anyways, those two players are heavily linked to Tottenham, Liverpool, and Sunderland. You know what? There's going to be a bomb at the end uh, of the transfers, you know, when the time comes to the last minute. We'll see where those players go. But I've seen Eriksen play his first game already for Ajax, and I don't think he's going to move. Ericsson loves it there. Anyways, let's go to Chelsea's hot shot defender, midfielder, David Luiz. Chelsea has put a price tag on him, 43 million euros or no goal. So Barcelona really wants to guy. Danny Alves says he would love to have him back. Well, not back. He would love to play with his Brazilian teammate. You know what? Danny, uh, David Luiz deserves a lot. And if he goes to Barcelona, I won't hate you, man. I see you at Barcelona. I see you. Okay, so... Arsenal has been going after this guy for a while, so his name is Gurkov, you guys all know it from Lyon. He said that he's willing to take a pay cut to move to Arsenal. What do you guys think? Has this guy still got talent in him or is he already getting to his point where he's at the top and he's just going down? I think that Arsenal needs more defense and more midfield and this guy would be a great add-on, especially if he's going to play because he loves the team. Anyways, let's go to Spurs where they're going to make another add-on, so it's a... Uh, Hailovic. If you guys haven't seen him, search him for sure. No, fuck it. I'll put in the video right now for you guys to watch just for a second. Anyways, this guy is an amazing, an amazing midfielder. He's a, he's exactly like Luka Modric but better, quicker, faster at thinking, touches, perfect touches, perfect shots. He's just been playing on a team that's not so good but he's standing out really good at that. What do you guys think? Will he be the next Luka Modric? Alright. Let's get back to the news. Let's go to Tottenham where Tottenham's uh, midfielder uh, Parker is closing the deal with QPR pretty soon. At the end of the week, we'll see if the guy goes to QPR. You know what? He deserves a lot of playing time. Should have been on national squad, but didn't make it. 
Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy my news, enjoy my highlights. Keep on subscribing. Let's reach that thousand subscribers. I created a new channel pretty soon that's going to be called Team Soccer TV. And I'm hoping you guys all switch down there later on. I'll create a webpage, start my own news on there. So it's going to be kind of like Go.com, like Daily Mail, and all that shit that you go, go and look on. But I'm actually going to be the video guy in there. And you can watch me down there. Anyways, guys, subscribe, comment below, and enjoy my videos. See you later.